y'all i'm mimi aka the piscean seer and this is one of your daily collective messages okay like and subscribe if you get anything out of this thank you to those of you who do like subscribe and comment it is always greatly loved and appreciated okay <laughs> um god archangels ancestors ascendant masters all beings of light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart you are always and forever welcome into my readings okay please 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 give the piscean seer collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time okay so we're gonna do a plato channeled message okay uh i think that's how you say it is plato okay <laughs> plato was a famous philosopher okay um who and he is now an ascended master okay um plato was I wrote, Plato was a famous philosopher and the teacher of Aristotle, okay? He was best known for his theories of politics and his metaphysics, okay? So Plato believed that, you know, in order to be a good pol political leader, you know, you needed to be a philosopher as well, okay? And that is the problem that, you know, we're having kind of with our government, you know, there is no spirit there you know there's no god there there's some you know what i mean we we he, he everywhere okay <laughs> first of all but you know there a lot of them are missing that spiritual connection you know they're not really concerned about the people or the needs of everyone you know they're not connected to the one to the to the all to everything okay <laughs> um they're just self-centered is what i heard okay <laughs> so let me get this overall what's the overall energy here well-being okay self-preservation service to spirit and youthful experience okay you could be a life path number three or six okay or nine okay or you could have your birthday in march june or september we got Lord Mel Cheese deck. Okay, you could be a life path number 22. That is the number on this card. You could, um, or have your birthday on the 22nd of any month. Okay, we got indecision, ego based actions, and lifestyle change. Hmm. That is what he was just talking about. <laughs> Kinda. Okay. Some of you guys could be called to be in pol in politics okay you could be very passionate about politics um but that's not the only things that you know plato talked about okay he talked about a little bit of everything okay he had me pick a couple of quotes okay from life love politics reality democracy and music okay and he gave me one angel number okay at the bottom of the deck, we got the golden light ray, okay? Love and laughter, receiving and giving gifts and passionate projects, okay? This is the sacred light oracle deck right here. All right. What else? What's that? Got the chocolate. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Hey. you can have chocolate skin okay or you could really like chocolate <laughs> okay we got pata at the bottom of the deck okay the new eon imagination visionary and prophet okay you guys are visionaries you guys are prophets okay you guys have big ideas and big plans for the way the world should go okay if this is for you <laughs> um we got 24 at the bottom of, I mean, on this card that I just pulled and 24 right here on this card at the bottom of the deck, okay? You can look up the angel number 2424, okay? You could live in the desert or somewhere that's really hot, okay? You could be a fire sign. You could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Um, what else? You could feel really connected to the sun, okay? You could have some sort of sun necklace or tattoo or something like that, okay? Also, you could be a life path number six, okay? You, you could have your birthday on, like, February 4th or 24th, okay? <laughs> Interesting. Or it could be on <laughs> April 2nd or 20, April 24th, okay? um that's the anubis oracle and this is the fairy forest oracle right here trying to remember to say all the decks i don't really like it's kind of it's kind of rude not to say the decks you know because people make the decks and they want to sell them okay <laughs> um 
we got Unsili Queen, okay, Glamour, Opulence, and Hubris. I was like, am I gonna need my tablet for this? <laughs> like, yep. Yeah, you are. I'm gonna look up one of these words. Mm. So, hubis means excessive pride or self-confidence. Okay, so maybe, I feel like he's saying, it says recovery, comeback, revival, okay? So, I feel like, you guys, self-confidence is coming back, okay? And I am getting, like, solar plexus now that I'm looking at this, this desert card, okay? Maybe there's a need for you to focus on being very confident in what you believe. You know, he just like, wait till I start reading these quotes, okay? They are like a trip, you know? Like, he was way, way, way ahead of his time, okay? Saying some, some deep ass stuff, okay? <laughs> stuff that made perfect sense, okay? He was someone who received symbols and signs and messages from spirit, okay? Just like we do, okay? And he was curious and open and warm to spirit. Spirit, so they gave him elder experience and lessons okay to guide him on his journey he was on this same type of journey he came here to say this type of shit okay um it says go the golden unicorn protector guardian champion okay so you got the protection of plato okay the ascended master <laughs> So you could be feeling like you want to learn a lot of things, okay, looking up different philosophers and, you know, the different philosophies around the world, okay, really interested in things like that, you know, your books could be getting a little bit thicker, okay. <laughs> um, um, and I said that, so that makes me think, I've seen 717, okay, that makes me think, you could be the type of person who likes books, you know. I really like holding books. I don't really like um, watch, ho reading books on my tablet, okay, or on my phone. I don't like it. <laughs> I like to hold a book, okay. Like, I like the smell of new books. Like, you could be a real bookworm like me, okay. <laughs> um, this is the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle deck right here, okay. So, the first quote... The first quotes are life quotes, okay? So the first one says, life must be lived as play, okay? Life must be lived as play. We got Pleiadian activation, okay? Coming together, harmony in the heavens and resolution. You know, when I do the, re the Pleiadian messages, okay? The Pleiadians are always talking about, you know, how enjoying your life is very important, okay? <laughs> like, the Pleiadians always... It put that message of fun in there, okay? It's 1111 on my tablet right now, okay? <laughs> so I feel like that's confirmation. The next one says, if a man neglects education, he walks lame to the end of his life, okay? So if a man neglects education, he walks lame to the ends of his life, okay? We got karmic board clearing. Oop, I seen 844, okay? You might want to look at that angel number. We got energetic clearing, okay? Re rewrite your story and live your truth, okay? So it's like if you guys never would have came in, would have started educating yourself or walking down this path, okay? You would have been lame and blind and wag for the rest of your life, okay? <laughs> I'm really hearing like... Like, be grateful that you got introduced to yourself, okay? Um, next is love, okay? The love quotes. It says, love is the joy of the good, the wonder of the wise, and the amazement of the gods, okay? We got the Venusian Galactic Council. Come on. <laughs> it says, star beings, answer the call, time to shine, okay? You know, the Venusians are all about that love energy, okay? That loving unconditional love energy i mean well all the deities you know that i talk to are okay <laughs> they're all on the same um loving frequency that i'm on okay <laughs> i have i had to like meet them there you know 
but they're saying it this really love really is the answer okay it is the amazement of the gods okay of the deities and of the most high god over us all okay it is the thing that makes you that puts you apart okay like the minute that you step into the education of yourself and how this life works that is the minute that your ancestors and angels all be like you know i mean they're there the whole time you know what i mean but they really get active okay they really get to work when you really start to acknowledge them and work with them and ask them for things and give them things to do okay and also your ancestors okay the ancestral realm okay it says karmic release healing the lineage and boundaries okay you guys have healed the lineage with these energies of love that you have been operating in okay so well done it says love is born into every human being it calls back the halves of our original nature together it ties to make one out of two and brings together human nature okay that's what he said look angelic frequency is what he was talking about okay it says angels are here you are safe and you have a very potent connection with them okay you're very connected to the angels and the ascended masters the pleiadians the venusian council you know um more deeper than you think you know like like the concept of oneness is super deep okay <laughs> and it's a very important that you embrace that okay i hope i think that's something that you know a lot of you guys really understand okay um so next thing or understand i should say politics okay it says if you do not take an interest in the affairs of your government then you are doomed to live under the fools <laughs> third eye activation <laughs> Okay, it says brow chakra, inner vision, and clear seeing. Okay, um, so like I was saying, if you are called into that field, you know, if you really have a passion for, you know, seeing change, you hear this confirmation. <laughs> you hear this confirmation. I could be talking to like the next fucking president who actually has the philosophies too. You know, you could be the first. Okay, you could be the first like spiritual president to do something real with this country okay and i mean of course it's gonna take a lot more than a president <laughs> okay it's gonna take a lot more than a president okay it's gonna take some some congressmen okay some fucking activists it's gonna take a bit of a bit to to see a big change here you know but it is a hundred percent possible you know if you do have a passion for that kind of thing okay then that a thing is your calling like he said already okay look it says there will be no end <clears throat> this is the next quote okay it says there will be no end to the troubles of state or of humanity itself till philosophers become become kings in this world or until those we now call kings and rulers really and truly become philosophers and political power and philosophy thus come into the same hands okay we got stargate heart <laughs> heart chakra opening unlocking generosity okay this is what it is you know this is why the generosity energy is lacking in the government you know because it's not they don't have that true spiritual deep connection that they're missing with with spirit you know i mean i can't speak for all of them you know but this is what the reading is saying that that energy is missing there okay <laughs> <clears throat> The next quote says, excellence is not a gift, but a skill that takes practice. We do not act rightly because we are excellent. In fact, we achieve excellence by acting rightly. Okay, this one, it says inner earth. <laughs> Okay, this is this reading is on, okay? It says inner earth, base chakra, strength and security, laying foundations, okay? You cannot achieve excellence until your inner foundation has been properly laid. And that could be what that's what's missing, you know, in a lot of the people. OK, but it is catching on. OK, it's contagious. What happens to the one happens to the all. OK, 
the more you raise your own vibration and work on your energy, the more you're helping your brother or your sister, okay? You're helping the next person to raise. It literally raises the vibration of the entire planet, okay? So next is the topic of reality, okay? It says reality is created by the mind, okay? We can change our reality by changing our minds, okay? <laughs> Emerald tablet activation, okay? Cosmic ordering and divine alchemy, conscious manifesting, okay? That's what he's talking about. We Changing, he's talking about changing your reality by changing your mind because you are a master manifester and you literally have the power to just think a thought and create that shit just like yeshua was walking around doing okay so next it says okay at the bottom of the deck we got soul star activation okay fulfilling soul contracts and remembering who you are it says False words are not only evil in themselves, but they they infect the soul with evil, okay? That's why it's like, you know, careful what you say. <laughs> watch what you're saying to people. Watch, you know, watch what how you're talking to yourself, okay? Because if you say, you know, nasty evil things to other people who are a part of the one that is a part of the all you're only hurting yourself too it really it really does infect the soul okay and that's why it, you know it's hard for some people to wake up okay we got the hermit mode okay i'm the wall I didn't mean to say that, okay? I meant to say we got the hermit, but I guess hermit mode is a very important thing, okay? It is what makes you come into contact with your real truth, okay? Like, if you don't set yourself apart from the world and all of its harshness and everything that seems to be going on, you know, when, before you, you really understand things then you know it's like you're still out here open to all of the false words and all of the evil from you know the world and the outside of you okay okay what else we got the nine of pinnacles okay you guys are wealthy okay y'all are the money okay you guys really do you really do have the power to go out and achieve and accomplish anything, okay? Really and truly. All it takes is a little bit of effort, okay? And you'll be surprised what spirit can do, okay? You'd be surprised what they can do for you when you when you do for yourself, okay? I do adore. Yay. Okay, look. Smell like the sunshine. You got my tongue tied. You say you're looking like a bag of money, okay? I don't know. We got the hanged man, okay? You become enlightened. You are enlightened. You guys are so... You are so enlightened, okay? And on. You are so high vibrational at this time, okay? You can accomplish whatever it is that you want to do, okay? So if you feel very strongly called to something, do it, okay? You never know. You could... You are here to leave words like this behind okay for somebody else <laughs> you know what i mean for our kids 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 to be sitting here like yes um you know the pisces here collective once said you know <laughs> okay people are meant to quote you okay to write about the great things that you have done to document your your come up on your rise and the way that you have touched this world and made a difference okay so you know just that's some encouragement is what i hear some encouragement for you okay look at the four of wands and but also it's like when you are chasing that thing or not necessarily chasing you know once you attract that thing you know and you're just following the path and you know going with the flow because we don't chase okay <laughs> but once you're following the path and going with the flow okay and doing what it tr what you truly want to do from the heart okay stuff like this comes out of you okay nothing but pure truth comes to you and pours out of you when you live your truth we got the moon at the bottom of the deck and the three of wands, okay? 
revealing everything that could ever be hidden okay totally clearing up the intuition clear the intuition as much as possible the clearer the intuition and the thoughts and the body and the, str the stronger the foundation okay and the stronger the foundation the higher the cosmic connection and angelic frequency connections out are okay and the more you start remembering who you are and remembering more and more parts of you in different and different lifetimes okay so the next quotes are about democracy okay it says only the dead have seen the end of war <laughs> look at the five of swords only the dead have seen the end of war okay <laughs> We got the ace of wands okay like y'all are warriors <laughs> period y'all are warriors till the end okay it says the price good men pay for indifference to public affairs is to be ruled by evil men okay we got the emperor right here <laughs> okay if we want stability and changes to things you know we have to do the things that we're called to do we have to do our job okay because i feel really good and confident feeling like i'm i this video is going to inspire someone who wants to work in politics okay who wants to make a difference and a change in the world okay and then that's how i have just done my job you know my my contribution to society to inspire another who's going to inspire a movement you know what i'm saying <laughs> okay and that's bomb i love the thought of that okay so also you know they're saying don't be indifferent to public affairs you know i mean don't like you know live and die by the news and what they're saying that's what i mean when i'm always saying like stop watching the news okay because most of the time the news it really doesn't have anything to say okay there's a lot of different ways to get news and get information okay and the news puts out like this frequency of fear or something like they be using some sort of technology on their shit Okay, we got the two of wands, okay. I don't know. Which is giving me like choices. What's the next quote? The beginning is the most important part of the work. <laughs> okay, so it is about choices, okay. The beginning is the most important part of the work, okay. So anything that you want to do or accomplish all you have to do is begin that thing okay because you are in an amazing place like spiritually and mentally we got the high priestess and the queen of cups okay <laughs> seeing clearly and like looking like this warrior okay having your emotional body in check and properly harnessing your psychic gifts this is what he is talking about and i almost can't believe it okay this is the, <laughs> this is the dc tarot deck okay but i had a feeling it was gonna be very interesting okay <laughs> this is the magic of marvel oracle deck right here okay um so next was music okay music is a moral law it gives soul to the universe wings to the mind flight to the imagination and charm and gaiety to the life and to everything okay so you could be into music okay you could be a musician okay someone who is meant to put those thoughts that you have to flight okay into the world to share your thoughts and ideas um on love and other topics okay and also if you are a musician you know i don't know i feel like it doesn't matter if you're a musician or not, you know, if you're someone who's not letting love in right now, you need to really, really do that, okay? You could be someone who feels like you love to be in love, you know, but I feel like the energy of love really motivates you, you know, like you're a different person when you find the right person and you're in love, okay? So you're, the right person is coming to you very soon, okay? Because spirit needs you to be in a certain place, um to create you know what i mean they need to be they need you to be in a certain place inspirationally okay they want you to be inspired so they're going to send you like the perfect person who's going to always keep you inspired you know in a positive way okay not on that drake shit that's what i heard <laughs> okay look we got domino okay it says i'm always feeling lucky okay 
you should always be feeling lucky because you should be knowing your worth and knowing that you are rich okay and also be very careful of what kind of music you're listening to okay don't listen to that music that promotes I mean I don't want to say that you know I feel like I listen to all kinds of different music, you know, and I get a lot of messages from music. But also there's certain things that I just I just don't listen to. Like my spirit just can't take it. I'd be like, "Ugh, it's trash." Like I this is garbage. What the fuck is this? Let me turn this off. Like <laughs> nothing makes me more upset than crappy music, okay? <laughs> because I love music, you know, and I, I'm a strong believer in like, you know, you can find some good music anywhere, you know, but like crappy music, oh, so upsetting. Like, I'd be mean, like, who paid for this? <laughs> Anyways, okay, be careful what you're listening to, okay? If you really hear music, you know, that just really doesn't agree with your soul, you know, I know. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know, like that feeling that you get, you know, like back in the day, walking into Hot Topic, okay? Like, ugh, that feeling? No, <laughs> not for me, okay? We got Lockjaw, okay? A good guard dog is hard to find, okay? I feel like you guys are being very protected from all of these different negative frequencies that are coming out in the music, you know, because there are a lot of messages, music messages being given at this time. OK, it says musical. The next quote says musical innovation is full of danger to the state for when modes of music change the mode. Wait, my bad. Let me start over. Musical innovation is full of danger to the state for when modes of music change, the fundamental laws of state always change with them. I just bit my tongue a little bit, okay? <laughs> um, so basically, Plato was saying, when the music changes, people change how they act, okay? And this is like a big topic right now in our society, okay? It says, what are you really protecting? And it says, be sure of foot and steady of heart, okay? It's like, music shouldn't really be have that much of an effect on people, okay? But it is kind of like, it's like they're using certain frequencies. I'm hearing like technomancy. Is that a thing? I don't know. Just be careful, okay? And trust yourself, okay? It says, philosophy is the highest music. <laughs> okay? Philosophy is the highest music. Look, Ronan the Accuser, let it all burn, okay? <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like he's saying, you know, limit it as much as possible. You know, like... Lately, I've just been listening to music while I record, you know. When I'm done recording, I turn the music off, okay? And I usually just, like, sit here in silence, edit, cook, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, we got Explore Beyond the Veil, okay? Explore Beyond the Veil. <laughs> like, listen to your guides, you know. Allow them to guide you and show you new spiritual things, okay? Because there's so much wisdom out here, you know. So many different deities and beings that want to talk to us, that want to teach us. Because for all of our life, we was taught it was evil to talk to them. And don't you do it, you know. So they have a lot to say, okay? Um, the next quote says... No wealth can ever make a bad man at peace with himself, okay? <laughs> this says, this is the She-Hulk at the bottom of the deck, okay? It says, do the right thing even if no one is watching, okay? <laughs> Which is funny because it goes right with what I just said. No wealth can ever make a bad man at peace with himself, okay? So it's like, you know, if you're counting on these blessings and you're hoping that you're gonna, you're about to receive some shit without doing the work, okay? That's not what's happening out here. Anybody who's not trying to make peace with themselves and know themselves and and be in contact with God and ascended masters and angels so that we can, you know, raise the frequency of this whole thing, okay? Then they're not on the right track, okay? And if I was you, I wouldn't be in the energy, okay? Y'all got contracts, okay? <laughs> Y'all got contracts and jobs to do with God, okay? 
y'all got y'all are on a serious mission okay <laughs> don't forget that okay that at the end of the day you work for the divine okay we got patience okay and you there's a need for you guys to be extremely patient okay divine time is at play okay it's like we understand you guys some of y'all are feeling like you're surrounded by danger in the community you know like like everyone is out to get you you know like you are target number one you know but you are protected okay you're protected that's why you've been okay this whole time okay hold on don't try to slow me down okay so there's definitely some deceit around in the community <laughs> in your energy okay but like I said, you know, look, a woman holding a heart, okay? He's saying keep acting out of that loving energy, okay? And, and getting into the philosophies of the old, okay? They, they're they full of truths, okay? Full of lessons, full of light codes, full of things that will help you go ahead, okay? That's why I've been reading all kinds of shit to y'all, okay? There's, they're full of light codes, okay? Yes, other people wrote them, but those people are channels, okay? Those people... <laughs> was meant to write those shits in that book so I could come on here and channel that message to you okay that's how deep shit is going okay like there's so many different details and magical shit happening around you within you okay you are a magical being period look at this okay he got the infinity sign on his head okay and it's, it is his halo his crown okay and he is perfectly balanced okay and in, in both elements okay in the fire and the water you know in the emotional and in like like the passionate okay um oh next deck there are four seasons shining yeah I've been losing my mind. All of this went in, okay? <laughs> so, y'all finna be winning. Winning, 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 okay? We talking to winners right now. That's who we talking to. <laughs> what is this, okay? We got Witch Metaverse, okay? So, you are really learning to, like, navigate the metaverse right now okay you're learning how to like timeline jump in uh you know shape shift and you know like you're really going through like different courses okay <laughs> this is what they're saying this is why everyone's in different places in their journey because this is literally like a certain type of course that you have to make it up you know yes you as a soul choose your own lessons and it's something that you work out with the most high because before you come back but it is you your higher self that has set up this series of tests and lessons that you are to pass okay to to learn how to work the metaverse and to have the freedom the heaven here on earth okay to have the freedom and the power to make whatever reality that you wish to experience okay we got the witch doctor with wisdom, okay? So you have to, he's saying, unlock your wisdom, okay? Learn as much as you can, okay? And learn from the from the things of the past, okay? From the lessons that you've gone through, okay? Whatever lessons you can pull out of those are great, okay? Like, you need those. <laughs> we got Ushi with nature, okay? Also, get very connected with nature. There's a lot of fruit and vegetables on here. He's saying you need to eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. They contain a lot of light codes and information and energy as well, okay? And we got future love letter, okay? And it's him in the mirror, okay? Like kind of writing a love letter to himself, okay? That connection that you have with yourself is extremely important. I know, I feel like all of the deities that I have channeled so far have been saying that, you know, they've been really putting emphasis on, you know, the merging of the two sides of you, you know, of your yin and your yang, of your light and your dark, okay? Is it good enough? isn't good enough of, of getting over that feeling that you aren't good enough okay we got silent retreat or silence okay god is in the silence okay your ascended masters and them they in the silence okay you will hear a lot more 
if you just sit down in the silence that's all they want you know i'm hearing like you know 10 15 minutes a day you know or more if you want or have the time you know however much you can is as is great as much as possible okay we got gratitude rampage okay it's already it's already happened okay so <laughs> you know you've already you're already in the midst of adjusting to these energies that that are being sent to you okay Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna change this song too. Oh, I got a channel song too, okay? We got underestimated right here. I forgot about that song because when I was writing these notes, that song came on. We got Earth Angel slash Healer, okay? <laughs> um so next is the angel number 744, okay? It says, no one is perfect, and it is normal to feel low once in a while. You should avoid focusing on negative situations, okay? Look, evil family members, okay? You got Lumerian blood and starseed, okay? Of course. <laughs> Where is it? Here it is, right here, okay? Stop wiggling it. I don't know if this is better. <laughs> um, it says, not only are you a miracle, but one is on its way to you, okay? Like, so avoid getting into any um, negative situations, you know, with your evil family members at this time, okay? They're just really underestimating you in a major way, okay? Just ignore that, okay? You know what's going on with you <laughs> and where you need to be going, okay? So just keep doing that, okay? It really is working, okay? Even if it don't look like it's paying off or whatever moves you're making, it might not you might not be seeing like the outcome or the end of whatever it is you're you're working on you know that's your specific task but spirit is saying you know like you are enough okay the song <laughs> the channel song is i bring me okay we got the six of wands at the bottom of the deck okay from this it's from that star show and it, it just had me thinking about star you know star was a star okay she was she first of all she lived like a fucked up she had a messed up childhood okay and like it seemed like every time she got some somewhere, you know, like something would happen to her, you know, it's like Star was kind of a solo artist, you know, Star didn't really belong in a group. OK, she she was a solo artist. She was well rounded. She could do it all. But she wanted to take them people with her, you know, and those people that she was, you know, dying to save and dying to stay together with wanted to go off and do their own things, you know, and that didn't mean it was wrong. But she just really wasn't getting it. You know, she wasn't getting the message that God was really trying to send to her, like, you are a solo artist, you know what I'm saying? Like, like all kinds of tower moments happen, but she just kept on ignoring it, you feel me? She really wasn't paying attention to the fact that she was being called to walk that, that, that dream that she had alone, you know, because the sister, she wanted to get married and do whatever, you know, and um, the other one, she knew she was a solo artist, you know, and Star was just trying to keep them all together, okay? We got the five of cups, okay? And that put her in a losing type of energy, okay? So, you know, this is the four of cups, you know, but all the cups are spilled, you know, and it's like this kid. But I feel like this is spirit here for you, you know? Like spirit always gonna make sure that you eat, okay? They always gonna make sure that you survive, okay? That any war, any problems, any issues that you come up against, you're not gonna end up in this energy of loss, okay? We got the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. Like, you're out of this past energy. This is what he's saying here. Yeah, we got the eight of swords, okay? So it's like, you could have had some evil family members that set up, you know, some sort of trap for you, you know? They wanted you to lose. They wanted you to lose, lose, lose everything, babes. And that's why you're going to win, okay? This is why you're so supported. This is not only your story. This is a lot of people's story, okay? <laughs> and so, um, you know, spirits doing the work right now, okay? You know, they in the office every single day, okay? Um, you know, not only are they taking records of everything that's going on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but they're working hard to make sure that you get what you need, okay? But let me read these lyrics to you real quick before I finish. Because I got like three more cards.
Okay, so she says, you talk a good game. You say all the things that you think, think I want to hear. But let me be clear. When it comes to help, don't trip. I can do it for you, baby, and I do it for myself. Understand I don't want to be alone. Play the back seat. Take what you give. I just can't, so I won't. Anything I want, anything I need, I'm able. So as far as what I'm bringing to the table, I bring me. Get my, bout my, go hard. Looking for another like me. What's up? I bring me, whose love is the tightest, whose kiss is the nicest, okay? But, I mean, I'm getting, like, you are enough from this, okay? Like, you are enough. Like, you don't have to deal with people who, like, talk a good game or just tell you a whole bunch of things that, you know, they think you want to hear. You're enough, okay? And if your intuition is telling you that that's going on, then, you know, she says, now, who you thought, thought I was, thought I was... Some that'll just sit around looking pretty, not going to be about hers, not going to make no fuss, not going to be about us. I get it if that's what you like, but I'm not about that life. See, I can't be something I ain't and I won't do something I can't. Yeah, I'm going to ride for you, baby, but I ain't going to lie to you, baby. Anything I want, anything I need, I'm able. So as far as what I'm bringing to the table, I bring me, okay? <laughs> Whatever you bring, whatever light you hold, whatever energy you come with, that is amazing. And it is a blessing to be in the presence of that energy, okay? And you need to believe that about yourself. Believe it, okay? Believe in this the energies and powers that have come from these recent awakenings, okay? Believe that you really are receiving ancient knowledge and um, having access to past memories. Believe in your connection, Ooh, what else, Plato? <laughs> I feel like you're talking to us. <laughs> okay, look, we got the guardians, okay? Shielding, defense, and warning, okay? So it's like you you have your guardians, like I said, you know, we're just talking about this protection again. You are very protected, you know, all different types of beings, you know. There's all different types of being in this car. There's like a monk right here, okay. There's like this big serpent thing up here. There's like a crow right here and an angel right here, okay, shooting this magical light out of the hands with the with the shield, you know. But also I feel like, you know, you are like this angel, you know what I'm saying? Like spirit is your backup okay spirit there but they not doing nothing okay she fighting her own battle okay she has her own shield she had knows that she has the power to protect her herself okay and it's like you possess that very same you know power and presence that majestic eminence okay it says priestess divine feminine and worth okay this because you and you and you accept your worth and you know who you are okay heart portal so, ah, you're um, receptive, okay, generous, and sometimes you can be mistrusting, and I, and for good reason, okay. But spirit saying, you know, be mindful of of new people coming in, okay. Um, work from the heart still, you know what I mean? Don't let them turn you into something else, okay? Because then they win, okay? Then they get the power over you if they get you to react or act out of your character, okay? Then now it, you just went out of your way and dropped your vibration a, a couple of notches just to talk to them about some nonsense, okay? <laughs> um, we got um, manifestation under that, okay? Really focus on your manifestations at this time, okay? The illusion of separation is an illusion, you know? If you're feeling lonely or something like that, you know, or disconnected, you're not, okay? You're never alone. You're never disconnected, okay? A part of the one. The one is a part of the all. You are always, always connected and surrounded by billions of beings, okay? <laughs> We got higher perspective, okay? Um, the cosmos awakening and unity, okay? Um, that's what we're really doing right now, okay? We're uniting, okay? Back to the one that we originated as, okay? That's what I heard. We got challenges, okay? Blocks, fears, and negativity and betrayal, okay? This is the only kinds of things that are standing in our way at this time, you know? People still being hung up on these types of energies, okay? But we got magical realms, okay? Belief, confidence, and co-creative power, okay? Believe in your confidence and your ability to co-create, to manifest to make this heaven on earth okay and most of all trust okay have trust in and overcome your doubts and insecurities and have patience with spirit okay 
Whew. All right, Play-Doh. <laughs> Thank you so much for these lovely, lovely messages. Okay, what is the final thought on this? We got the Eight of Forces, okay, or, or the Lightning Bolt. And we got Initiation and the Count Saint Germain, okay, which is Violet Flame Energy, okay. S Saint Germain works with the Violet Flame, okay. The Violet Flame is very important to your energy, okay. Um, it's great for clearing your chakras, okay, and just cl clearing out everything, okay. Please, if you have not yet, okay, do a Violet Flame meditation. I'm kind of curious to see um, what he has to say out of both of these, so I will read both both of them because I feel like he's giving a great message right now <laughs> um the eight of forces okay the lightning bolt so that's 182 okay you can look up the angel number 182 and oh the Saint Germain one is a major arcana okay 79 So the lightning bolt says, a lightning bolt illuminates a stormy night sky, striking down a tree to its core. Puddles of rain pull upon the ground. This card shows that it's time, that it's a time of splitting apart, a time of lost disappointment, or even a metaphorical death. Okay, you may be feeling wounded, grieved, or gravely disappointed. The loss could be a career opportunity, romantic relationship, partnership, creative project, or friendship. At first glance, the event may seem sudden or unexpected, but in the light that flashes, we see the deep puddles of a storm that has been going on for some time. You've probably been aware of the threat or difficulty at some level even if you were unwilling to acknowledge it before but now is a time to accept the situation and not fight for what's not fight what's so there is benefit coming but it often takes an ending to bring forth a new beginning and a storm to cleanse the field okay so if some of you guys are going through like a little bit of a hard time or just you know having um things popping up you know having happenings happen those happenings are happening for you okay they're not happening to you so just you know kind of go with the flow they're saying roll with the punches okay um so the initiation and count saint germain says standing among the pillars within a beautiful temple the ascended master Count St. Germain sends his light and energy to the four robed people who stand before him. It is time for their initiation. This card represents your initi initiation. It is so much more than a change or even a transformation. It's nothing less than your movement into higher revelations of power, insight, and achievement. And the time is now. Some loss of power vibration, my bad, some loss of lower vibration relationships, jobs, or activities may be required in order to lift you to new heights and power that await you, okay? And also, I said some loss of power vibration relationships okay so if you don't forgive certain relationships okay you give that person subconscious permission to hold on to your energy okay so you have to forgive some situations in order to call that energy back to you okay you might even want to do um you know tell your angels and ancestors you know that you want to call your energy back from all you know places timelines people situations or you know childhood issues that may be holding on to that energy okay and it will all just you know come come running back to you um and you'll even feel a, a, a greater sense of wholeness is what he said okay it says your initiation can be aided by meditation and study as well as by connecting to the ascended masters with whom you have worked for centuries upon centuries know that you have shared purpose and activities with the masters even if you aren't certain of what they are yet okay the disciplines you create now during your initiation and the work you do with the 
the masters will lift your service to the world and to all humankind. This is a time of enormous uplifting, first in your energy and evolution, then in your manifest outer reality. The power that you hold within will impact every part of your life, okay? I feel like, boom, like, like, <laughs> mic drop, okay? That was great. <laughs> um, I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and happy day, and that you got something that you needed out of this, okay? And I will see you later. Bye.